we are going to discuss your uh, paper one and uh, we will discuss uh, question number one to question number five as you can see uh, from the heading that uh, we are discussing uh, uh, paper 7707 and uh, that is specimen paper for 2020 so boys uh, uh, that lesson is designed for outgoing grade 11 and my name is Masood Ahmed and uh, here is my ID uh, Skype ID and Facebook ID okay question number one is here what is the purpose of bookkeeping so question is particularly relating to bookkeeping not for accounting okay keep this thing in your mind option one to interpret the double entry records and uh, to prepare financial statement at a regular interval and C is to record all the financial transaction of the business and D is to summarize the financial position of the business so boys here only one thing relates to bookkeeping other three things are not related to so you have to identify uh, the purpose of bookkeeping over here I guess uh, so here is the answer so it is A is not uh, correct because uh, uh, it doesn't go with the bookkeeping here B is also not the answer whereas the C to record the financial transaction of the business is the core responsibility of the bookkeeper and that is the prime responsibility of bookkeeper basically to maintaining ledgers and prepare the double entry system okay these are the purpose of uh, bookkeeping so D definitely is not the answer so boys uh, one thing I want to uh, tell you that you have to uh, you have to uh, you have to uh, give me the reasons why A, B and C are not go fair uh, go uh, with the bookkeeping and what are uh, the, the definition over here are of uh, what thing whether it is of assets liability what whatever you have to answer okay boys uh, question number two over here is uh, what are assets so you have to define assets assets can be defined in a variety of ways and you have to pick the exact the accurate uh, among the below answers number a items that are bought for long term use by a business and by one thing you should keep in your mind that uh, the Cambridge or any examination body they definitely uh, confuse you by giving uh, the definitions which are same like but uh, the person who is conceptually clear can pick the answer and uh, normally they uh, the, the option which uh, uh, seems to be correct is in fact is not okay so here be items that are expected to cash items that are expected to turn into cash in the near future okay and that is another definition of assets but whether uh, it is uh, it covers all the assets or not so here C items that are owned by or owed by a business okay so that is another definition whether it is a correct answer or not you have to tell so D items that are owned by or owed to a business or to mean a business uh, has to receive something owed by mean business has to pay something so here is your answer okay A is not your answer B is not answer C is not answer why they are not your answer you have to tell me uh, through your whatsapp okay and here the answer D items that are owned by or owed to a business okay so the, that is the answer for this because uh, owed to a business mean uh, business has to receive uh, something from other, uh, other party so question number three here as return goods bought to bought on credit from J so S is returning sales return uh, that that is basically for S that these are purchased and, and because they are returning back to J and J in the case of seller and he uh, is basically re uh, receiving a sales return back okay so how does J record this in his books so boys whenever you are being directed to record an, on a particular uh, traders books you should consider yourself as that uh, particular the same trader okay so now you are J 
and you are Javed and you have to uh, you have to answer okay here is your uh, table that uh, what entry J will made him in, in his uh, books so whether he debit the purchase return and uh, S account should be credited these are not the purchases basically okay so B is uh, sales return debit and S credit C S debit and purchase return credit S debit and sales return credit you have to answer me this okay and uh, let's see what is the answer over here okay Javed uh, is maintaining books and uh, Javed is basically receiving back the uh, goods so the goods he may he uh, definitely use uh, this uh, record this entry sales return debit or return inward okay return inward is debited and uh, the other account from where he is getting uh, these goods uh, is his uh, debtor and debtor is decreasing as is credited okay so let's see question number four question at the end of the financial year there was a debit balance brought down on the office expense account so boys first of all uh, listen carefully that to whether it is income account or your expense account whenever it has debit balance mean you have uh, if it is asset you have paid more money than uh, than the expense for the year so it will become your asset and whenever there is an income account and income account your balance uh, is brought down uh, debit balance is there so it means uh, you uh, you haven't received uh, uh, the amount earned last year now it is receivable so it is also become your assets so whenever there is debit balance whether in expense or income it is your asset whenever there is a credit balance in uh, your expense account or your income account that will become your liability so let's see what is there in which section of the statement financial position will this be recorded this account this balance will be recorded definitely uh, you can get the answer by thinking okay so there are four options uh, capital current assets current liability or non current assets let's see what is the answer a b is your right answer current assets and why it is not capital why it is not current liability why it is not non current assets you have to answer so let's see the fifth question okay so the following ledger account prepared in the books of a trader now you are the trader okay and these are your books what are they you have rent account and uh, in rent account uh, you have uh, brought down balance you, you have brought down balance 600 so again uh, in the last uh, question I have told you that whenever there is an uh, income account or expense account when there is a debit balance mean, mean that is your asset okay in, in case of expense you have paid in advance or in case of income you haven't received you have to receive and that is receivable for you and uh, here uh, on the debit side you got bank 63 basically you are not debiting the bank account you are debiting your rent account and the reason from here uh, what what is the reason why you have debited this because you have uh, credited bank account in in the bank account ledger you you have placed uh, its double entry over there on the credit side of the bank bank decreases your expense increases so so that shows that if there is a, a reason in the reason there is debit uh, 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 on the debit side it is bank mean you have paid something and it shows that it is your income or expense you can better tell so what does the balance on 31st December represent to so on 31st December there is credit down balance that is 350 what does it shows it is credit balance and uh, just recall the thing which I have just mentioned you that whether it is your assets or liability okay so rent payable outstanding B rent payable prepaid and you have to decide whether it is rent payable for expense they use the word payable uh, rent payable for expense they uh, rather I, I uh, uh, because they uh, want to judge the concept of uh, yours uh, that's why they named here rent payable otherwise uh, they they must have uh, uh, they may have written over here uh, rent expense 
outstanding okay one and the same thing rent payable outstanding or rent expense outstanding rent payable prepaid or rent expense prepaid and c is here rent receivable it stands for income so they may have uh, written over here rental income outstanding and rental income prepared so boys uh, what could be its answer okay tala will tell okay tala what is the answer guess what is it well 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 question here here is oh, oh, oh you got it huh? rent receivable well done tala well done okay okay boys see you in the next lesson and uh, till then okay love